Welcome to Media Minute. For this episode, we're going to the nude beach of conversations. That's right, we're going topicless. We'll be back right after this. Welcome to Media Minute Roundtable. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. And I'm Rachel Edge. <laughs> She's, uh, oh no, she was frozen. Okay. It's a, Y'all good? I, I think we're, we're good. She was a little, little frozen. Do just I, a tiny bit frozen. Do I need to cut to the, we lost the feed already? <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. Okay, good. I don't think so. This is going to be a, a quick, short, and dirty episode. Yep. Uh, it's fun hot. size. It's, yeah, fun size. It's hot out. Uh, this room is hot. Uh, Rachel's got stuff to do, so we're just uh, we're just going off the cuff for, for yeah, this one. It's going to be a weird one. It's going to be a weird one. First off, I've been watching uh, a series on Amazon about Greek myths. Nice. And the series is called Great Greek Myth. Great, Great Greek Myths. There we go. There we go. <laughs> hey, man. Like 90% <laughs> of Greek myths are, so a god was horny, and then something happened. Yeah, Literally. It's all very instantaneous, too. It, oh, super. Usually. Oh, super. <laughs> It's usually Zeus. It's usually Zeus. Like, he's like, it's usually Zeus. Pretty much. Pretty much. Like, 85% is, like, Zeus got horny. (laughs) He just went went around town, land pipe. (laughs) Yeah, pretty much. Turned into snakes and stuff, you know. It's a a bad time. That's weird. And, uh, no, I mean, it's interesting to go back because, like, you kind of know, like, these stories because you kind of, at least for me, like, I didn't really grow up with them, but, like, you kind of get a sense of them from, like, media. Yeah. Like, you see different adaptions and something. So, like, to hear, like, the actual kind of, okay, here's what the original myth was uh, is interesting. Yeah, you kind of hear You kind of find out about them just to osmosis, really. Pretty much. Pretty much. I think there was uh, what that Jim Henson series, The Storyteller. I think they oh, did really? a series on Greek myths as well. I think, like, season two of that was, like, all yep, kind did. of the, yeah. That was a weird show. That was a weird show. But, hey, wild. Muppets. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know Muppet Babies great. is still a show? Muppet Babies is still a show? Yeah. What? It's all CG now. Oh, man. It's weird. That's kind of sad and disappointing. How do you... How do you CG the Muppets? Like, that just seems like a crime. They did it. Like, that doesn't seem... <laughs> n- n- I don't like that. Yeah. Uh, a lot of scenes. Not really a lot of scenes. Uh, well, cartoons right now are weird, though. Like, there's yeah. no, like, Saturday yeah. morning... Like, Car- cartoons. Yeah, like block of shows. Yeah. So you gotta... Like everything's... And even when they do kind of bring back those older cartoons, they tend to be a little bit disappointing, a.k.a. He-Man. <laughs> yeah, we can talk about He-Man. Yeah. Well, it wasn't really... What's left of it. The, the, yeah. It's been eviscerated into the ground. <sighs> it, it was so disappointing. Like, yeah. It was so disappointing. I, I only watched the first episode. Yeah. And that was enough. And it was weird, like, they don't really give you any backstory. Like, it, the first episode, to me, felt like a season finale. Yeah. It's got all these characters running around, all kinds of hell breaking loose. But, like, if, you don't, if you've never seen the show, if you're new to the franchise, you're not going to have any idea what's going on. I, I think I kind of understand what he was trying to do. I think he was trying, like, Smith was trying to do kind of like a Death of Superman um, type yeah. storyline. But for that, you kind of need to establish some stuff. It's been 20 years since, like, the last He-Man animated show, because yeah. there was one back in, like, 2001. Need a r- refresher. Yeah, just just give us a few episodes where we get the characters and get some backstories again, just to kind of reestablish stuff. Yeah, because he just blew right past that. So, yeah, just bam. Bam. We're in, we're in it. And then Kevin Smith, well... well go, go ahead, oh, Rachel. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was just saying, well, the thing is, too, like, with that, it's, like, you can't expect it's just going to be, like, older He-Man fans watching right it's like there's going to be a new generation interested in it as well right so just throwing them into like this story with no background like it's kind of like okay like i feel like i missed the episode even though it's the first one you know what i mean yeah yeah i mean mm-hmm. like when they rebooted battlestar galactica like they kind of took everything from the start and had like the same characters and stuff yeah um, that makes sense yeah but yeah. uh like I, I got, I, <laughs> what else can you say? I got to see the what he does for the second season. Maybe there's going to be a redemption, but I, I have my doubts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, after the, I mean, there's hope. There, there's always hope. Like there's always, I but, suppose. But my man killed, killed Orko. Yeah. <laughs> like, spoiler alert! <laughs> spoiler alert! At this point, 
you probably know. Yeah. Yeah, you probably watched it or not. Or heard someone else talk about it. Yeah, it's kind of inescapable at the yeah. right now. Especially with Kevin Smith just, like, totally giving the middle finger to, the like, the fandom. Yeah, that was so weird. And he just kept doubling down. Yeah. It's like, dude, what are you doing? Kind of the sad thing about it, like, uh, Kevin's kind of a, what I call, like, an ascendant nerd. Like, he started out, like, just being, like, a film geek. Yeah. Like, one of the people, and then he went to Hollywood, and yeah. he's changed, man. That's it. He's yeah. changed, dude. Welcome to Hollywood. Yeah. And I guess now he's in hiding. <laughs> <laughs> he's, filming, he's filming Clerks 3 right now. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. He's like he's trying to distance himself from this He-Man noise. I guess so. I guess so. Oh, oh wait, hold up. Why is there, why is there noise around He-Man? Like, is it just because like he didn't follow like the the canon very well, or like what's the deal? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, people were mad that they killed him off in the first episode. Yeah, like hey, this is supposed to be a He-Man show. Where's He-Man? And Kevin Smith. Uh, it, it's a long story at by this point, but. Oh wait, no, he, no, fair enough. He said he I had just, no love sure. for He-Man, realize. and then he flip and said oh I, I loved he-man when i was a kid and yeah. people are just like what are you talking you, you're lying dude <laughs> and then he pulled like a bait and nice. switch and yeah. like, it's not going to be about tila and then lo and behold it was yeah so he lied is what, what made people mad see like yeah that's the thing like if you're honest with people and be like look it's in the he-man universe but it's not surrounded about like it's yep. not for he-man it's for a different character i feel like it would have turned out different but if you're promising fans like it's going to be another he-man don't worry and then which is fine. Like, the first episode, like nobody but... complains if like somebody does like a, a Batgirl show. Yeah, just be. Honest. Yeah, it's like okay, the show's just you know it's going to be in the Batman universe, but this one's about Batgirl. Yeah, simple. Yep. Yeah. That could have avoided so many headaches. Pretty much. And disappointment. Yeah, like, why? Well, what was the point of him lying about it? Was it just I like so like more people would watch it? Like I just I don't I never understood that with that kind of thing. He like if it's going to be different, just be say it's different. I don't know. Yeah, he's been very kind of weed heavy, like, <laughs> like not a casual user, but like heavy. Like I've seen interviews where where he's like super stoned, so. Like Joe Rogan stoned, or just like. <laughs> you ever done DMT? <laughs> <laughs> no about that, but no, he pretty pretty uh, stoned, yeah. yeah and then okay, it just enough. he just he just kept making it worse by like basically flipping off the fans and just like oh your criticism is useless like shut up and swearing at them and throwing all these like panels Whoa. Yeah, it's just, yeah that's not cool. uh, it's been a dumpster fire not, not a good look no. not a good look sounds like it but the uh speaking of reboots i like they did a cgi transformers reboot on netflix yeah, and it's been it. solid nice. it's, like it's not really awesome it's not super great uh but it's okay it's okay does uh, the trick it does the trick. Like, they use the old Transformers, like the 1980s uh, designs for the robots. Nice. Um, and, you know, you get to see Megatron. You get to see Optimus Prime. Like, what else do you want? <laughs> they even bring in the Beast Wars characters in, like, the third part of it. That's, so That's wicked. Yeah. That's sick. That's, that's how you treat I a fandom. That. Yeah. Yeah, it's like exactly. fan service. And, of course, they got Soundwave, who is the yes. most awesome Transformer in the world. There's a little tape deck, like... Yeah. Animals that would come out of him? <laughs> like a bird and a, dog, a wolf or something? He had an awesome voice, too. He had that, like, synthesized voice. Yeah. 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 That was so good. But, uh, yeah, no, that, that reboot's pretty good. So if you're looking for a little bit of nostalgia, uh, check out, uh, I think it's called War for Cybertron. It's on uh, Netflix. Awful up a graphic. Oh. Yep. No problem. Yeah. Rachel, uh, you got anything to bring up? Not to throw you uh, on the, under the bus? Oh, or? no. <laughs> no, all good. I was just thinking, um... Actually, I, it's not really, like, new or anything, because it's, like, from, like, the 90s, but I just recently watched Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Yeah. And I have never seen Helena Bohemian Carter young before. Okay. Holy sh**. Yeah, it's... Blew me out of the water. It's really weird when you go back and see, like, a really young version of an actor that you're used to being, like, old. Is that... Yeah, like... Was that one with Robert De Niro? All right. Was no, it? um... He played Frankenstein. Ah, she's the only one I could recognize. Did? Well, maybe it was Robert De Niro. He was like in heavy makeup. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I got you, you know off what? track. what? Actually, I think you're right. No, no, it's all good. I like. I actually didn't know it was him because if he played Frankenstein, then obviously he was in makeup. But like, yeah, like the main guy, like Doctor Frankenstein, wasn't De Niro. Yeah, he played the monster. So I thought that's who. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah. It's, yes. Because it it's because Frankenstein's it like monster, as version. everybody will always point out. Whatever you bring up, Frankenstein. It's technically, it's, technically, it's Frankenstein's monster. Yeah, we know. Frankenstein yeah. is the doctor. 
<laughs> yeah, we don't. Yeah, but I I got to say though, I was I was pleasantly surprised with the movie. Like it was actually really good because it's like I remember watching Dracula for the first time, like the one with Gary Oldman and I was like, "Holy shit." <laughs> with this Keanu? is really long. Yeah, that movie. This is brutal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Frankenstein, really good. Well, that's good. But yeah, it was weird seeing her young cuz the the only time I've seen her was in the Harry Potter series and like Sweeney Todd and she was older so seeing her like in her i guess i don't want to say prime because i don't think that really applies but like when like she first started out i was like yeah i'm blown man um yeah it, it's so cool to like go back and examine some of those old movies though like i said especially howard the duck howard the duck which turned 35 really uh, yeah like a couple days ago Nice. Yeah. Happy birthday. Holy yeah. crap. The very first Marvel movie. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and no one can take that away from it. <laughs> no one can take that away from it. Oh, my alarm's going off for some reason. Huh. It's not time yet for anything. <laughs> but Are we out of time already? No, 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 not yet, not yet. But um, speaking of, like, old actors that are used to seeing as older, uh, of course, the David Lynch Dune yep. had uh, Patrick Stewart sure did. with his mullet. Yeah. That was fantastic, but uh, <laughs> that was yeah. It, yeah the the new they've released some more like footage from the new Dune that's coming out, and lo- it looks good to me. Hopefully, it, it does the trick. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, um, I saw this one thing on Instagram. They actually did like a side by side with like the tra- like the original Dune and like the new Dune trailer, and it's like dead on. Like they. Basically did the same thing for this trailer that they did for, like, the first trailer for the original Dune, and it looks really good. Like, the obviously, like, the effects and stuff are, like, way more advanced, but it's, like, crazy looking back and seeing, like, what they had to do to, like, make that come to life. Because, like, sci-fi, I think, is in its prime now, just because it's, like, I feel like it's way easier to do certain things than it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, it still hasn't kind of reached, like, re-reached, like, original Star Wars levels for, like... Mm-hmm excitement but there's been some pretty kind of solid releases um also they released another trailer for the new ghostbusters but it's pretty much the same same footage i mean i I just wanted to come out at this point it's it's been too long when is it supposed to come out uh november november November, yeah i I think it should have been a summer release like ghostbusters is like a summer movie to me yeah i don't know yeah it's not a christmas movie no. Or even it's not even really a Halloween movie, which it maybe should be. No. Yeah, yeah. Even if they released it speaking, October. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, speaking Rachel. Speaking of Halloween, though, sorry, uh, I was gonna say, have you guys seen the new trailer for the Rob Zombie Halloween? That's um, coming out. I think I have. I think I have. Yeah. It. It's uh, it looks interesting to say the least. <laughs> okay, no, that that doesn't sound good. Oh, no, it I looks think interesting. I, I think I must have seen it because when we were like talking about uh, franchises that should probably be put to bed yeah i think like that that, that trailer right. came out like that day i uh they, yeah. have you seen like that have you guys seen the trailer for the chucky series oh yeah on sci-fi no i haven't actually yeah um uh, is it a good trailer does it look interesting or is it kind of like why did they do this didn't really catch my interest yeah and like that kid's way too old for yeah like a chucky doll yeah yeah, yeah. It's for kids oh. yeah like, like hula hoops yeah. And trick or treating. Yeah, well, I mean, it's based on the old, like, My Buddy doll. Yeah. Which was always fun to yeah. put, like, a Mega Death tape in. <laughs> yeah, t- t- Teddy Ruxpin? <laughs> yeah, same, yeah, same thing. You throw on Welcome to the Jungle, you got yourself a party. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, speaking of parties, are you at a birthday right now? Like, what's with all the balloons? Are those not balloons? What are you talking? There's Behind you. <laughs> but Behind you. There's, like, a. they look kind of like grapes. You have giant grapes on your wall. They're decorative plates. Okay. Weird. They look like balloons like, from this that's angle. That's not... They're definitely not balloons. <laughs> yeah, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Or sour candies, maybe. Yeah. 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 Giant yeah, sour no, candies. Cut. Definite, definitely not balloons or a birthday party. Okay. <laughs> Either or. <laughs> next week. Next week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> actually, a little uh, CanCon entertainment news. Sure. Uh, the Last okay. of Us. Yeah. Started filming in Calgary. Oh. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Biggest, That's exciting. Biggest production that we've ever seen filmed in Canada. Yeah. I think it's for, is it HBO? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. One, of the, one of those guys. I want to say HBO. I think it's HBO. Yeah. But, so yeah. they did a casting call for Lethbridge, I think. Oh. For like extras. Nice. Yeah. 
So yeah, just, just a little bit of news there. Not much of a story yet. Yeah. Well, that means like people are going back to filming at yeah. least. Yeah, right. Things. We might see Which some movies great. released at some point. That's the, the one okay. always hopes. Yeah. It's like that uh, Ryan Reynolds movie, Free Guy. That's been like in hiatus yeah. for <laughs> yeah. like two years. Brutal. Yeah. I've heard from the trailers and stuff. I gotta say though, like it looks like a really good movie. <laughs> Have you seen the latest one where, like, there's a buff Ryan Reynolds, like a super buff Ryan Reynolds? Like, they basically no. CGI'd his face on, like, a like a weightlifter. Like Terry Crews? Yeah. <laughs> no. What? <coughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> that's incredible. I love that. Yeah. Okay. No, uh, I'm going to have to check that make out. Sure you, uh, make sure you check that out because that's been doing the rounds the past uh, little while. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Love it. Yeah. Anything else? I don't know. Uh, um, there's been a lot of trailers. Carnage. Yes, Carnage. Yeah, Woody Harrelson with a yeah. red wig. Because yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah. I can't remember the name of the guy, like Cassidy or something like that. I oh, that's close. Um, that's close. Yeah. That sounds right. Crap, I can't. My, my only real exposure to Carnage is Maximum Carnage. Like the game? Yeah. That game was good. That was. Okay. A, that I was, think it was good. <laughs> that was a great game. That was uh, Super Nintendo, I think, or oh, yeah. Genesis, yeah. That are Get to Play Got Spider-Man it. and Venom. Yeah. Yep. Good times. Nice. And Venom. I gotta say, is yeah that is yeah, yeah that is the yeah, yeah. that is yeah 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 I just made that connection. <laughs> there was a, there's a couple of <laughs> neurons there floating in the soup. Hey man, it's hot. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's it's very hot. But like side note though, like what do you guys think about Woody Harrelson playing Carnage? Like, do you think that's a good acting like actor choice for that character? Sure. Yeah, I, he seems to pull it off in the uh, in the trailer. You know, it's because uh, uh, the guy's like a serial killer. Yeah. The guy gets the carnage symbiote. So yeah, like he can he can do the crazy eyes. Yeah, Mickey Knox. Yeah, come on. Yeah, it's true. For sure. I don't know. I was just I was curious to hear that he was the one that got the role because it's like him and Tom Hardy together. I'm interested to see how like good I guess like the acting chemistry is there. Like if they can play off each other, or if it's gonna be, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's so so weird. Like, Sorry, sorry. No, 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 go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say. No, it, it still seems so weird though that like they have like this Venom universe that doesn't have Spider-Man. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. It's very unusual. Do you think? Do you think they'll ever like put put them together like Tom Holland and like? I mean, Tom it's Hardy a possibility like, because Disney owns everything <laughs> now. It's true. And, like, yeah. and Venom didn't really uh, go over very well the first time he was in the Spider-Man movies. Oh, that's right. Topher, uh, Topher Grace. Topher Grace, yes. In like, it for like 10 minutes. I totally forgot yeah. about that. He is not Eddie wow. Brock by any... No. Like, Eddie Brock's supposed to be, a, like, this jock yeah, type right? guy. Yeah. So I think I think, uh, I think think Disney probably wants you to forget about that. Probably. I think most people yeah. want it because sure. that was that was the uh, emo Spider-Man. Yeah, where he's yeah. doing the yeah. finger guns. <laughs> Ever see the it's footage of, like, they do that without the music? No. Oh, it's, it's so like good. so awkward. It is so a, awkward. Yeah, so awkward to be. If you're, yeah. If, well, if, if you're ever having a bad day, just watch it, and like you'll be like, at least I'm not him. Yep. Okay. Yep. And uh, one more thing, kind of like a little bit of hobby drama. Uh, is like, War, Warhammer getting crazy? The, the, yeah, the Warhammer thing going on. Uh, apparently, they. Like, there was people doing, like, fan animations of, like, Warhammer type mm-hmm. stuff. And uh, Warhammer, like, the guys behind it, Games Workshop, I think they're called. Yeah. Uh, they're releasing, like, this, like, uh, Warhammer Plus type service. So oh. they basically said anything animated now has to be official. So you can't make, like, any fan animations or, like, do cosplay or anything like that. So You can't stop someone from doing cosplay. That's lame. Yeah. Come on. So, uh, yeah, people uh, super upset at Games Workshop. But... Uh, Funnily enough, like on the internet, they're saying, leave Warhammer. <laughs> you Embrace Battletech. Yeah, you can have War Machine. <laughs> <laughs> Embrace Battletech. There you go. Yeah, get some giant robots in your life. Nice. I mean, you always need giant robots in your life. Yeah. Uh, speaking of gaming it news, have you guys been hearing about like the whole drama that's happening with Blizzard right now? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was actually waiting to bring that up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> okay. that is like a complete like kettle of fish oh, it's not even a fi- it's not a kettle of fish like this tub it's, it's something it's like cauldron well the main uh ceo stepped down didn't he yeah i think so yeah, yeah he did yeah because of all of this stuff i don't i don't know the full story like on it yeah I've but been... like from what i've heard it's not very good 
Yeah. No. There are people know. basically like doing like a pub crawl in cubicles and stuff like that. It's what? Like, yeah, it's uh, huh. yeah, it's not what do you? Th- Blizzard used to be so cool. Right. Yeah, I remember like right. pl- playing like Warcraft two, playing the original Diablo. Nice. Yeah. Like waiting for like those animated cutscenes that because they kind of pioneered some of that stuff, like having those like CGI cutscenes, yeah. like with StarCraft. And, but like they used to be the cool guys, and yeah. then they got fat off of World of Warcraft, and that was it. Yeah, so sit back and collect paychecks and get into t- trouble. Yeah, that's what happens when like a hobby gets like taken over by a corporation. Yeah, right. Yeah, the passion it's is gone. It's kind of brutal. It's sad. Yeah, sad. It really checker. is. I just know, like, I have a few people who, like, I don't want to say, like, they're not, like, professional gamers, but they, like, do Twitch streams and stuff like that. And they've, like, been saying constantly on their Twitch streams, like, to not play anything underneath the Blizzard umbrella, like, including, like, other, like, corporations under Blizzard. Like, don't play any of their games. And I guess it's, like, hitting them really hard right now. I did not realize how many, like, pots that, like blizzard had when it came to that kind of stuff yeah like, i did not realize apparently like, like the twitch the stream stuff or like yeah blizzard products is like dropped off a cliff no doubt yeah remember it's when the, remember when uh, bethesda made like canceled all those people's accounts and to get them back they had to write an essay <laughs> what yeah there, there's something like in a fallout 76 that, that's bethesda right yep okay yeah fallout 76 like i guess a bunch of people found like basically like, a hidden room or like all like Everything, every item in like the game. F- yeah, free stuff. Basically, like a yeah, like a vault. Yeah. And it, Bethesda got really mad. Like, oh, you're not supposed <laughs> to find that. And like, too bad we did. We, but yeah, we found it. And then they're like, too bad. Bye bye account. Yeah. And if you want your account back, you had to write an essay <laughs> on why you should, why you deserve to get your account reinstated. That's like uh, grade a school whole, stuff. Yeah, so strange. I was about yeah. to say that made me think of like Bart Simpson walk like right <laughs> on the blackboard. Like I will not ever. Oh man, yeah, that, that, that's that reminds insane. me of when I was in basic uh, training. Uh, like if you screwed up, sometimes you'd have to write an essay, but you'd have to use four different color pens, one for each letter. Oh, yeah. <gasps> you know. So your your night was done. Like yeah, it was, no doubt. Yeah, no relaxing after uh, after training that day. Nice, but uh, that's. Yeah. Uh, what else is going on in video games? Uh, Digimon. Oh, yeah. Digimon Tamers. Apparently, Wait, what? Apparently, Digimon is alt-right <laughs> now. I don't know how. I, I, there was a, they were doing a live reading of, I don't know if it was. Like, I think it was a script for something. Yeah, and, like, if I'm, like, remembering this right, so, like, there's a new enemy, and the enemy is a uh, political correctness. And its super move is a uh, cancel culture. <laughs> I'm hoping getting that right. Um, no, I'm close. Yeah. So yeah, like uh, uh, all these like hardcore is just like flipped out and like because they were just like criticizing cancel culture, they're like, oh, that must be alt right. Japan. So they're J- making. Japan they're just doesn't making a care joke about it. Yeah, Japan doesn't give it. Japan damn. doesn't no. care. No. But yeah, no, that's yeah. weird. Well, uh, I, I think it's time right. to wrap things up because <laughs> okay. a it's hot. Hold on, before we go, yeah. not related to anything, but I just learned about this today. Okay. In South Korea, if you buy bananas, they're called one-a-day bananas. Yep. It's about a tray of about, like, six. Yep. And the one on the far left is, like, bright yellow, ready to go. Okay, and they get riper as you go yeah. along. Or less ripe. So, like, the one on the far end is yeah. green, so you got more time to, like... It's a banana a day. Yeah, isn't that great? That's, like... Genius. We're living in the 2020s. Yeah. So they just yeah. get progressively, like... Greener. Still no flying cars, but... One a day bananas. That's all you need. I yeah. mean, it, it's a step in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to bring that up. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was cool. Well, this is a short and sweet episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm Michael yeah. Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. Don't forget to and check I'm us out on BitChute and YouTube. It, that's okay. You can step on my yeah. lines. I don't mind. Yeah. It's the end of the show. Most well, people Like and out. subscribe as well. Like, subscribe. Comment. Comment. Uh, and whatever else you want to do. Yeah. And if you like these... Sh- Shorter episodes, let us know. Yeah. Yep. Cool. All right. Uh, I'm Chris Raskowski. And I'm not going to interrupt people. We'll see you next time. We'll see about that. Bye-bye. <laughs>